What's going on guys? It's Steve by myself today out in front of the newest Boston Lobster Feast location to open in Central Florida in Orlando. The newest one that opened is just out here. I'll turn around so you can see out on 192. We're actually like right across from Anvil. If I could just walk like straight through this restaurant across the street, I, would, I think I would walk into either the Animal Kingdom Lodge or the Animal Kingdom Theme Park. Yeah. But anyway, this is a brand new Boston Lobster Feast that just opened a couple of weeks ago out on 192. Now, the Lobster Feast, and I'll turn this around real quick. There we go. The Lobster Feast that I normally go to is on iDrive. Um, but there is another one. Well, let me say this. So the one that's on iDrive is very close to the convention center, to the Orlando Convention Center, and near those hotels down there that kind of service the convention center. And then uh, the other Lobster Feast, which I believe is the original, is actually on 192 going that direction uh, in front of Celebration. But yeah, this is a brand new Lobster Feast. I believe this location used to actually be a Golden Corral Buffet, which makes me excited because it tells me it's probably super, super big inside, which is maybe an issue with some of the other lobster feasts that we have where the dining rooms are a little small for the number of guests that want to come and dine and enjoy all the seafood. But um, if you're not familiar with lobster feast, this is an all you can eat seafood buffet that has all you can eat main lobsters. And we're about to go inside. It's a Saturday, it's about two o'clock. So we're here, they just opened, I believe at two. So let's head on inside. Let's see what the seafood looks like. Let's see what this new location looks like. Very, very exciting. Come join me. There is something always nice about going into just a brand new restaurant. Yeah, look, here are the hours. Yeah, so Saturday and Sunday, they open from two to 10, four o'clock during the week. Oh, ooh, check out this little dining room. It smells so fresh and clean. I'll just let you guys see what it looks like in here real quick. Look at the pictures on the wall. The famous Lobster Feast vehicle. How exciting. Okay, so obviously that's not the entrance. I just want to show you guys the lobby. Yeah, this was definitely the Golden Corral. It says all you can eat feature, uh, feast, including lobster, crab, prime rib. You can see the prices. Feast is $59.95 for children, $25.95. Full bar available inside. So let's see what it looks like. How exciting. And it is empty. Oh my gosh. And it is massive. Take a look at the size of this new lobster feast. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Look at this. Full bar. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm actually joining some people that maybe just came in. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Take a look at this. My mother and brother are here. They're meeting me over here. I said they're already seated. But look at the size of this dining room. This is what the Lobster Feast has needed for so long. A big, 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 super-sized location. Thank you so much. All right, so I already took you know my drink order or whatever, but I just want to show you guys around in here because this is the Lobster Feast of Lobster Feast. Hi, how are you? It looks absolutely stunning in here. I'm blown away. You guys that have been following for a long time, y'all know how much I love seafood, how big of a seafood guy I am. I can't, I'm smiling under my mask. I'm not taking it off keep it on right now but i am truly truly smiling under my mask so let's flip the camera so you guys can see what it looks like here check out the dining room it is massive look at this i love it the furniture looks great i love the colors restrooms in the back yes i do remember eating at this golden corral one time when it was still a golden corral and those like the buffet is still in the same place they have just totally redone everything in here look at all the seating in here the seating is massive you have tons and tons and tons of space wow i just want to show you guys a dining room in here i actually have an atm machine if you need it if it's necessary wow <laughs> this is my heaven this is steve's heaven i love the decorations up top the little lobster traps or those are crab traps i think look at this so yeah, it's a Saturday, it's two o'clock, and the restaurant is empty, which is great for us. I'm assuming they get busier, but look, let me turn the camera around. This is just not a very busy time here in Orlando, like tourist-wise, like it's just totally quiet. The theme parks are empty. Um, Cause you know, schools are back, that type of thing. There has been an increase in COVID, but the, the, the restaurant just looks so nice. I'm sure it's much busier in the evening, but we are here early. So I want to show you all the bar. Check out the full bar. I love it. I'm, I'm just impressed with the colors. 
I know they've been working on this for a long time because I've been driving by waiting for it to open. Um, they spent months on this project. Wow. Oh, fantastic. You got your televisions. Looks like they're sell wholesaling seafood too. You can buy seafood directly right out of the freezers. Take a look at that. Bags of shrimp, scallops, crab legs. I see crawfish, mussels. So great for locals if you want to take seafood home with you. Or if you take seafood back to your vacation home or something like that, or somewhere where you have a place to cook. DVC, they have salmon and everything. Here's a price list, huh? I'll let you guys see the price list for uh, taking seafood home. All right, so now it's time to take a look at the goodies. Let's go look at the buffet. I, I'm just blown away. Let's go look at the buffet, come on. And of course, we've got the classic giant lobster. That one's not real though, don't get excited. That one's not real. Well, let's just start here. What do we have? So we have a pasta bar here. Let me get close so you guys can see. Meatballs. So this regular marinara here, I can back up so you can read it with me. Regular marinara, meh, I can't speak today. I'm so excited. Marinara sauce, meatball pasta sauce. There's a pasta, there's a mac and cheese, baked beans, corn on the cob. This looks like pulled pork or Carolina barbecue. Uh, barbecue ribs. Oh my gosh, peel on each shrimp. Look at that piece of salmon, it hasn't even been touched yet. Let me just let y'all soak this in for a second. I hope y'all are getting hungry because I am starving. I can already tell you this is going to be an amazing, amazing feast. Look at the seafood jambalaya. This is a codfish, looks like it's a crusted codfish. Fresh steamed broccoli, ahi tuna, cauliflower, steamed cauliflower, mahi mahi. Look at the mahi mahi with the grilled marks on it. Oh my god, here it is. Blue crabs. You guys know I'm from Virginia. You'll know how big of a blue crab uh, fan I am, blue crab fan I am. It is my absolute favorite seafood. I'm going to be eating those. Those are good looking blue crabs. They're like, these are garlic spice crab. I can tell. They're not, oh, well, they got old bay on them too, it looks like. Okay, crawfish. This is a stuffed, stuffed clams, it says. It's like bacon wrapped. Looks like a hot pepper. I'm not sure what that, I don't know. I don't think that identifies that correctly. We'll try it though. That looks like a stuffed clam. That's the stuffed clam. Okay. Steamer. So this is the steamed clams, steamed mussels, Southwest mussels. It's like a, I don't know exactly what that's on that. We're going to find out. There's some type of cheese, oysters, Rockefeller. Yum, yum, yum. Alrighty. Let's come on down here. That's empty. So here is the, um, this is the raw bar, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have a whole little Caesar salad setup. Check out this. I'm going to come underneath the glass so you can see it. Look at the Caesar salad setup. Look how fresh that looks. Oh, the oysters. For you guys that love raw oysters, yum, yum, yum. Look at the raw oysters. Here's the sushi. Look at that. Looks very, very good. My baby's favorite, the octopus salad. Unfortunately, Susanna is not here with me today, but I will absolutely be bringing her back because I know how much she loves the octopus salad. She says it's just absolutely her favorite thing. Let's we'll see, they have pickled ginger, wasabi, crab salad, a cucumber salad. Look at that, all tomatoes, cucumber, onion. Yum, yum. There's your cocktail sauce. Here's some fruit. I see cantaloupe, um, coleslaw, oranges, chilled or cold broccoli, or raw broccoli, I should say. Fresh lemon sliced. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are the chilled spiced shrimp. Check out the chilled spiced shrimp. These are like little uh, crab claws, right? Lo I'm sorry, lobster claws and knuckles on ice. If you want them cold, there you go. Lobster. Oh, and they've got crab clusters on ice. Those are stone crab though, right? Rock crab clusters. You know, I still get off sometimes with um, learning the difference between uh, stone crab, rock crab, it's a little confusing for me. I know my blue crabs are real real, I know my Alaskan and uh, snow crab, but okay, so that is a rock flat crab. Yeah. <laughs> this is too exciting, rock crab cluster. There we go, got it out. And that says those are New Zealand mussels. House smoked salmon, oh my gosh, and lox, salmon lox, lox, okay. Let's keep on going around the buffet. Take a look at this, wow. I love how you can see all of the alcohol, uh, the beverages, the liquor bottles. Very, very cool looking bar. So coming on down this way. Okay, hot side. This is more like traditional Americana. Green beans, London broiled. That looks really good. Mashed potatoes, brown gravy, seasoned rice, shrimp scampi. Here's a couple of different soups. They have a clam chowder, seafood chowder, lobster bisque, 
It's a little hard to see in there. I'm trying to let you guys see it. We're gonna taste it anyway. I've had it before. I know it's good. On the carving station, they've got prime rib. Yum, yum, yum. Let you guys see the prime rib. Cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, horseradish. Oh, here's the fried goodies. So fried fish, fried shrimp, fried calamari, fried scallops, fried clam strips. Hard to find in Orlando, fried clam strips. If you like fried clam strips, they just took them off the buffet at Cape May. They have them here. Fried chicken tenders, which are so, so, so good. They do the best fried chicken tenders ever. I wish you could just buy those like for lunch in a box or something. I would get them. Regular steam burns. This is beef tips. Is that, yeah, beef tips, okay. Kind of cut up like little kebabs. Cooked baby carrots, sausage and peppers. Some type of pasta, sausage pasta or something. We're gonna try that. Uh, they say they have shrimp skewers. I don't see that. No? Oh, I do. In the corner, there's a little grilled shrimp skewer. Check them out. They have a seafood casserole. There are their rolls. Okay, so over here are melted butters. We have the crab cakes. And then here are the goodies, the lobsters. Take a look. Oh, thank you very much. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. And the crab legs. And guys, I wish I had a, a scent deal. Like, I have a microphone. I wish we could bring the scent to you guys. It smells amazing. Okay, well, it's time to get a plate then. It's time to try some seafood. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh, FYI, they do um, have gloves up here. They do ask that you wear gloves. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. When you come up to the buffet, don't go barehanded touching the tongs. Wear the gloves. Try to keep everybody healthy and safe. So I'll show you that real quick. How convenient. So hand sanitizer and the gloves. That way you can touch the tongs and you don't have to, you know, spread everything. <laughs> Look at these desserts. Magic coconut bars. Check that out. This is key lime pie, little chocolate brownies, all these little personal sized treats. The cookies look very really good. The carrot cake looks very good. And the seasonal cheesecake looks very good. And look, they have a lot of dessert prepared, ready to go out. So as soon as these empty, they can just pull those right into the bottom. Baker's special. I don't know what that is, but it's got powdered sugar on it and it looks awesome. They do have flan, they do have corn muffins. And look at this, in the freezer, little individual ice creams. Wow. Wow, I'm blown away by this one. This lobster piece look kitchen seems like it just has more than the other ones. I don't know, I'm seeing more, more variety of food, more variety of desserts, more varieties in general. So it's time for me to put down the camera. Sorry, and it's time for me to start eating. Let's go, let's grab a plate. Alrighty, so I just sat down with my first plate of food. Take a look at what we've got. We've got blue crab. I went with some spice steamed shrimp. I went with some steamed clams. And I went with their shrimp scampi. Thank you so much. And I did request for my blue crab. Well, big seasoning. And she brought me hot sauce too, some Tabasco hot sauce. So fantastic. Let's dig in. Let's try. A lot of these items I've already had before from the other Boston Lobster Feast locations. However, this just looks Something about this restaurant just smells so fresh and clean and new and exciting. Wow, wow, I'm very impressed already. But anyway, let's dig in. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna try is this gorgeous steamed clam. Looks yummy, I'm gonna dip a little bit of butter, a little bit of pasta. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very, very good. Clams are perfect, like always. Nice and tender, not dry. Shrimp scampi, I wanna try this. I don't remember them having shrimp scampi at the other lobster piece locations. But I'm doing the same thing. I'm dipping in butter, a little bit of cocktail. Mm -hmm. Very good. Shrimp is cooked right. It's not uh, rubbery or anything. It's just, it's good shrimp stamp. And now are the peel and eat. These are not de-veined, it looks like. No. Which is fine. We can take care of that. I can get it to peel, there we go, a little grip here. Yeah, I'm just, um, I'm blown away by this location. Let me clean it out just a little bit. A little cleaner. Yeah, these are not diva. Okay. Shrimp, butter, cocktail. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Very good, very good Maryland's, uh, what am I trying to say? Maryland steamed seasoned shrimp. I say it right, Maryland seasoned, um, Old Bay seasoned, that's what I meant to say, Old Bay seasoned. Very, very, very good. 
like I was saying when we worked on the buffet, these little chicken tenders are so good. Like I said, I wish they would sell these by the box or something for lunch. I'd come by and get these. I'd rather have these in like Popeye's chicken. Yum, yum, yum. So good. Okay. The other thing to taste on this plate for you guys, the blue crabs. I'm going to show it to you so you can see it one time. It's actually a decent sized blue crab. That's why I jumped on this one. I had to grab it right away. That's a good sized crab. And is it a Jimmy? It looks like it. It is. We got a little Jimmy here. Very good. So these look like these are done in garlic, but it looks like it's got some Old Bay on it too. I'm gonna try to pull the knuckle to get some meat out. Yeah, nice chunk of meat out the body. Perfect. So good, so good. Blue crab, oh, sweetest seafood. Sweetest seafood you can eat. Oh my God. And it's all you can eat, guys. If this isn't worth $59, $59 per person, I don't know what is. You guys know how expensive blue crabs are. I know down here in Orlando, if you want to get a dozen Jimmy's this size locally, you know, steamed and bring them back to your home to eat them, you're looking at for 12, that's 60 bucks. <laughs> that's 60 bucks. So here, all you can eat, and you're going to get to eat lobster, shrimp, salmon, sushi. Look at that. Codfish, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, everything's fantastic so far. I'm gonna eat this, my hands are getting messy, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Just a little FYI, I always mention this in our videos of the lobster feast locations, but this one does as well have seasoned french fries. All you have to ask for them, they're included in your buffet price, as well as uh, fresh hot hush puppies. And I believe this one does, they have baked potatoes. Yeah, they do. They do have baked potatoes as well. Okay, yeah, so do not forget, there's no additional charge. I highly recommend it. They're some of the best hush puppies. And honestly, the french fries are fantastic. They come out piping, piping hot. Yeah, Definitely get that, it's a great add-on to your Already round two time. Everything on the first plate was great. The blue crabs were fantastic. But now I think I want to try lobster. Let's get lobster. Let's get lobster. Let's get crab legs. Let's uh, let's do the the thing that most likely you're here for, which is lobster and crab legs. Now while I'm grabbing my plate, I want to talk to you guys about something, which is seafood buffets near you. So Cafe Cafe, if you're familiar, which most of you guys probably are if you're watching this video. Um, they used to be known for having amazing crab legs, amazing clams, and seafood, minus the lobsters. I believe you could always get lobster. Ooh, who are those? Those are stone crabs too. Okay. Um, minus uh, the lobster. You could buy lobster separate. I believe you could add it to your dinner. However, um, Cape May has changed dramatically since we opened. They no longer have crab legs. It's no longer a buffet in general. How are you, buddy? Very good. Everything is fantastic so far. I love it. Very good. Um, good, good. So if you like, if you if you still want on your Disney vacation to have crab legs, Kate, I'm sorry, Kate May's not going to do it. You're going to have to come to Boston. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do a lobster yeah. and lobster and crab legs, please. Thank you. Yeah, it looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yes. Yum, yum. Looks like some stone crab is mixed in there too. We have stone claws too. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. So it looks like we have some stone crab claws mixed in there too with the, the blue crab. While we're over here though, let's get a little sprinkle of some, some fried goodies. I want to try a few of these fried clams. They look so fluffy and fresh. So anyway, I think I lost my train of thought. So if you uh, are on your Disney vacation and you want some crab legs, then the lobster piece is the way to go. Um, and I am going to already say it right now. I highly recommend coming to the lobster piece here um, on 182, this new location, just because it's, it's brand new. It's so clean and fresh and large and it's just a big place. And then look at this, there's no crowd or anything. It's amazing. Uh, one of the issues with the other lobster feast locations is they're so busy, especially the iDrive location. Um, it does form a really long line around the buffet, so you have to be prepared to wait for uh, wait in line literally, like to get lobster and crab legs. But here, you don't have to wait. You can just literally go right up, grab your seafood, and it is awesome. So, all right, let's go taste some of this yummy goodness. Let's try this lobster. Let's try these crab legs. And it looks like there's a giant stone crab claw in there, or a cluster. That's a whole cluster in there. All right. Looks like, with the, did you get stone crab with your, um, 
Uh, crab legs too. Look at that. Not. See that? They have some stone crab. That is stone crab, right? I believe that's considered stone crab. Being that I'm not from Florida, I get confused sometimes. I think that giant knuckle there, and that giant claw, is a stone crab. Let's try it. Alrighty, so here's this nice looking gorgeous plate of seafood. I want to try for you guys the calamari and the fried clam strips. And it looks like they were like little baby scallops. Correct me if I'm wrong though, I don't think they actually technically are scallops. I don't think there's a such thing as a scallop that small. It's something else. It's a type of fish. Ma, do you know what I'm talking about? There's I no such it. thing as actually a baby scallop. It's like a, it's a naming thing. I think I, it's a, I, I, yeah, but I think technically though, I'll Google it for the video, but I think technically it's a type of fish. They call it a scallop, but it's not. Is that what it is? Good. Good light batter. This is what I'm trying to try. Look at these fluffy clam strips. Did you see these, Mama? Look how nice these look. <laughs> Little cocktail. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That's a lot of clam. That was a lot of clam in there. You know how so much you get clam strips in. It's just nothing but batter. And there's a little dry piece of clam in the center. Not these. That's what I want to try them. You can tell. Look, look at the thickness of that thing. That is a beast. Did you see how big these clam strips are? My mother loves clams. That's why I'm showing them to her. Look at that. It's fantastic. I'm going to do a little bit of cocktail sauce. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So good. Very, very good clam. All right. Now let's take a look at these little uh, calamari rings. Mmm. Very good. Not like the greatest calamari that I had before of seafood, but a very, very good calamari. Now, I want to try some crab with you guys. So here's a nice looking crab leg. Take a look. Oh yeah, pulled out. We've got the meat. All in one pull. Oh. Almost all in one pull. I got most of it. I'm gonna dip that in a little bit of butter. I'm just gonna pull it right off the uh, the bone. Mmm. Mm. Why do I love crab so much? <laughs> what is the deal? I love crab so much. Oh my god. More crab. Why for my grandmother? My mother says I got it from my grandmother. She was a big crab person too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always hear the stories from my mother about how when she was growing up in Virginia, that they used to go down to um, Yorktown. I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with Yorktown battlefields that type of thing williamsburg colonial williamsburg but anyway they would go catch blue crabs right out of the york river and they would steam them right there on like the little beaches of yorktown oh. of course i don't think you can do that there that too much anymore i don't think they have enough blue crab unfortunately that's part of the whole i guess chesapeake bay issues they've had up there with <clears throat> pollution not enough blue crab overfishing that type of thing but I believe the crab that you get down here in Florida, the blue crab, I'm 99% sure it comes from New Orleans, from the Gulf, from New Orleans. Whenever I've asked before and I've bought crab from like a seafood market down here, blue crab, they always say that it's trucked in from New Orleans. I've never been to New Orleans, but do you see a lot of blue crab in New Orleans restaurants as well? Oh yeah. It's like here? Huh? I mean like Virginia, like the, the, the blue crab is that big in New Orleans? <coughs> They don't do Old Bay seasoning, or do they do Old Bay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to go to New Orleans and just try the seafood down there one time. My brother goes all the time, him and his wife. And they've been saying forever that I need to go try it, that me and Suzanne need to go try it. So, Okay, so next up, let's. Well, what is this one? Yeah, but this is not blue crab. This is not snow crab. I think this this was in the steamer. I think that is a stone crab claw. That looks like a stone. That's stone because that thing is big. Let's see how hard it is to break. <laughs> this is part of being from Virginia is that we don't have this type of crab up north. If you guys are familiar, I, uh, we moved down here about three and a half, four years ago. So I still try to get used to eating some of the Florida delicacies too. But I believe this is uh, stone crab. You can correct me. No, it's not stone crab. Stone crab, the claw is like a hooked thumb. What kind yeah, of crab? Yeah so, what, yeah, so this is not stone. So what is this one? No, it's not. I don't think so. Is it? Is it a snow crab? I think that's a snow crab. I'm going to tell you by the taste. I should be able to tell by the way it tastes. Yeah, I'm going to bring you away. Snow crab. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
I've never seen a snow crab claw this big, have you? Oh my god. That's snow crab. But the snow crab has like a yeah, different think. color shell. It's got like the black edges in it. Lighter orange with the black and the knuckle kind of curl. And you can't break those by hand either. They cut them for me. Do they have a sign up there for you? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, this is snow crab. This one for you. You just got the cracker and I'll just uh. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> wow. Very, very good. Thank you. I, mm. I don't know. Look at the body of that thing. I really thought this was uh, something else. What did you look at the size of the knuckle on that? Have what you ever seen a snow crab knuckle that big? Look at that thing. All right. Well, I, I'm not going to let this go to waste. Let's crack it open and see what it looks like. All right. Had to do a little bit of readjustment with the camera, but let's see. All right. So look at that. Oh, look at this. What a unique looking crab leg. Like. I don't know what this, know, this is. not a normal looking Alaskan crab leg. I'm so confused what this is, but it tastes like an Alaskan crab leg. You know, crabs have distinct flavors. Was that on me? Was that? It was with the snow crab. It was in the same steam. I'm going to have to ask this. When I go up there, I'll ask them, like, what is this crab? Maybe it's just pulled from a different water. Troy said it's nuclear. <laughs> it's nuclear crab legs. I don't know. It's good. It tastes just like normal snow crab. I just maybe it's from a different part of the waters or something. Mm. I do know with like uh, seafood, it's just like everything else. The supply chains are disrupted, so maybe they're pulling these from a different from a different region. I, I just don't know. It tastes great though. But you you didn't get any like this on your plate? No. Well, that's a normal looking snow crab leg. You guys see the difference, right? I'm not, I'm not acting crazy. Like this is, uh, this is a normal snow crab leg. I don't know. I'll show you guys are the normal crab legs. So they are good size, nice meat. Did y'all have any issues with anything y'all had so far? Okay. Mama, everything was very good, right? I know you're enjoying because you're quiet over there. <laughs> mm. Everything is very, very good. I think next up is this lobster. It's probably about, what, a one pound lobster, I guess? One pound lobster. Let's just, let's break this open. Do we have a fresh bowl to do? I guess I could do this on top of here. Just take the tail, make sure there's not a lot of water. You know, claw, I think I'll eat the claw first. Nice looking claw. I love the knuckle meat of the lobster. Right there. That's like the fav my, my favorite, right there in the knuckle. So I don't want that good. I just dig my knife in. I just do much better cleaning this type of stuff with a knife. I know a lot of people do it with little uh, forks, but for me personally, I've just always been used to doing it with a butter knife or any knife really, to clean out the meat and shells. Little claw. Doesn't matter though, they're all you can eat. I'm gonna eat the fat on there too, I don't care. Some people remove the fat, but I'll eat. Add on the claw. Mmm. The white fat. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Good lobster. Which part? It's already, my lobster's got to hold a little bit, but that's my fault because oh. I was tasting everything else first, but it's a good lobster. Now let's clean the tail. If you've watched my videos before, I've shown you how I clean the tail. I know everybody has their own thing. Real quick, all I do is I just crush this in my hand to break, I guess the tendons or whatever holds the meat in the shell. I break that loose, do a little twist, yank the tail off. I just take a knife and go right down the belly of the tail. Other people take a fork and they'll just push it right out. I don't know, you have your own feel, I have my own feel. Um, I, me personally, I think that if you can do it the way by pushing it with a fork, it's probably the easiest. I just always have gotten used to splitting the tail and pulling the meat out. So. That's how I'm doing it. So I'm doing that right now. I just crack it open. And out comes gorgeous, beautiful little lobster tail. Now cut this end off. That's all you can eat. I'm not going to worry about cleaning all that out. I'll just cut off what I don't want. Clean my hands one time. I'll use my little baby fork for this. Little butter. Mmm. Very good. Mm. So good. I love my lobster. Alrighty, let's grab another plate. Let's try some more seafood. Some more goodies. 
I've already had the shrimp. I don't really want um, mussels right now. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Yum, yum, yum. Steamers. Let's try one of these stuffed clams. I'm going to try that. That looks good. There's a big one there. It's a stuffed clam. I'm not a huge crawfish person, especially if they have lobster. I will take another crab. Let's get another. So good. Let's get one more. This one looks nice. Ooh. It's a big one there on the bottom, actually. Look at the size of that pair. This one here is huge. Again, here with the steam, mahi mahi. This is the jambalaya old bay crab. Again, that's not blue crab, that's like a stone looking crab in there. Some type of stone crab. Corn. Um, a little mac and cheese sounds good. Got a little spoon of that. Just to taste it. I don't think I want pasta. I'll probably pass on pasta. Look at the rice. I love rice. You guys know I love rice. I think I'm gonna get more shrimp scampi too. The shrimp scampi was so good. All right. All right. Thanks, yum, yum, yum. A bit of the rice. A little more of the scampi. This was really, really good actually. Go there. Still need to try the, um, oh, what was it? Uh, the clam chowder. I want to try some chowder too. Fried shrimp. Let's try one butterfly shrimp. More of this chicken. Definitely want another chicken strip. Take two. Let's be greedy. Let's have two. Let's see here. This was beef tip. Hmm, let's try beef tip. That might go good on the rice. Is so it the beef tip? Oh, you can get one. I'll show it to you there. Beef tips on the rice. Um, one of these shrimp skewers. Definitely want to try a grilled shrimp skewer. If I can pick it up, take a look at that. You guys can see that, right? Okay. I guess I should say, this is the first time I've ever done a video like this. Well, not the first time. First time in years, I would say, that I've done a video with my iPhone. I really wanted to test out the iPhone 12 Max for uh, vlogs, doing videos like this. Quick ones on the fly, instead of bringing like a, a big Canon camera or something like that. <clears throat> so you might notice that sometimes in this video, the camera angles are a little bit funny. And that's just because we're working with, um, I'm working with a camera that I just don't normally use. So, all right, let's get a little bit of the butter. Oh. Thank you very much, my friend. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's take this back to the table. Let's try some more goodies. Prime rib is there. That was the chowder, the lobster base. Maybe I'll real quick run back up there too. Oh, London broil. London broil with the rice too. Yeah, try that. London broil, can you see in there? It's kind of hard. I'll set it right there on top. Two pieces of London broil will go so good on that rice, I think. Mashed potatoes. I'm just enjoying this so much. And look, the restaurant, it's still empty. It's probably about 3 o'clock at this point on a Saturday afternoon. And it's still just really, really, really quiet in here. What a wonderful dining experience so far. I'm just enjoying this so, so much. Hello. All right. Well, I grabbed myself another plate. Already. Well, let's see. Um, we've tasted, I think, a lot of what's on this plate already. But I just want to try for you guys some crab cakes. Did y'all see the grilled shrimp skewers? Yeah, they got grilled shrimp skewers. Yeah, yeah. Um, all the way in the very end corner, kind of near the lobster, they have the grilled shrimp skewers. So let's let's try that first. Since we're doing well, let me try this crab cake first. Is that easier for me to get to on that? This is the crab cake. It's not a bad crab cake. Not my favorite. I will say, of everything I've eaten, everything's been fantastic. Crab cake's kind of eh. it's a crab cake made with imitation crab. I think that's why. Right. I don't think there's real crap in there. I think it's imitation. It's good though. Some of you guys might like it. It's hard to say. There's just so much other stuff up there. 
That may be like the first thing I've tasted. It's maybe a little bit of a miss, but everything else has been fantastic. Like I said, let's try this gorgeous skewer of shrimp. Take a look at that. Yeah, doesn't it look great? Yeah. It's fantastic skewer of shrimp. Let's, I'm gonna have to use my hands to get this off. There we go. Tail came right off. Mm, good. Good shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, next is this London broil. You guys saw it up there on the buffet, but here's the London broil. Looks very yummy. I'm just gonna slice a little piece here. Did you try London broil yet? Yeah, looks good. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Good. I was expecting that. A lot of seasoning, a lot of flavor on the London broil. My, you'd like that. Um, maybe it's a little salty for me, but it's still very good. I was expecting to be more like, I don't know, bland. <laughs> and then this is the stuffed clam. Stuffed clam. I don't know what it's stuffed with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see if there's a lot of bread filler in there, bread crumbs or whatever. That's good. I think I like the stuffed clam. I do. I like the stuffed clam more than I like the crab cake. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's actually very good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Little butterfly shrimp. Promised I would try this. Good. I have to say, everything I've had here has been fantastic. So, I'll talk for a second here. Um, like I was saying up on the buffet, if you're coming to Orlando, if you want an all-you-can-eat seafood experience, you're not going to get it at Cape May right now. Y'all seen our video. You guys were there. We all went together. None of us enjoyed Cape May at all in the current form, in the, fa yeah, in the family style. And everyone else's reviews I've seen felt the same way. I don't think anyone else has enjoyed Cape May. Cape May was supposed to be a Crab Lake seafood buffet with awesome New England steamers. You just you get the steamers, but I felt like when we went, they weren't even the same quality clams like they normally use. And crab legs are obsolete unless you pay extra for it. I think it's $29.95 a pound for crab legs. You can buy lobsters at Cape May, but I can't remember how much that is. It's like 30-some 30 30 dollars for a little lobster. Okay, so here you can come. Like I said, I showed you all outside. Right across the street from Animal Kingdom Lodge and Animal Kingdom. But this location is key. It's right beside Disney property. You can have lobster, crab legs, all the different types of stone crabs, clams, mussels, raw bar, um, sushi, the carving station, the, the, the different meat, shrimp scampi, chicken strips, chicken crust shrimp skewers, it's everything, it's everything. And hush puppies, and baked potatoes, and seasoned french fries. I'm just trying to think, like, what are we forgetting? Rice, mac and cheese, I mean, yeah, the sushi, everything, crab cake. So, this is a place to come. It's worth coming off a of Disney property, would y'all agree? But I'm gonna say this right now. Absolutely. Absolutely, if you're gonna do this, come to the new location on 192. I'll put the address in the description because there is another one on 192 up the street heading, is that east from here? East, yeah, 192 east, like right across from Celebration. That one's gonna be really busy. And the one on I Drive by the Convention Center is packed. I mean, packed. Watch some of our other videos of those, that location. You'll be waiting in a line get in you'll be waiting in the line to get seafood it's frustrating it's extraordinarily loud this place was built for the lobster feast this when i saw they were going to put a lobster feast with this golden corral i was so excited i called everybody I like you won't believe that lobster feast is taking over a golden corral location it's what they needed to do they needed this giant restaurant to absorb the people absorb the noise it's a big buffet it's laid out correctly and if you're on this end of 192, there's not a lot of tourists down this way. I mean, you've got what, Margaritaville and a couple of um, resort communities, but a lot of the rental homes, but you know, it's not like I drive where you have all the convention center crowds and that type of thing. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish eating and we'll wrap this video up. I will try some desserts too. Alrighty, so now I think it's time to try some desserts. This is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna have to hold the camera like this. This is the seasonal cheesecake. Definitely would love to try some cheesecake. Looks like it's got little chocolate chips in it. Got that. Seasonal cheesecake. Up top, I'm trying to do this with, <laughs> it's that easy with two hands. Um, this is a magic, it says magic coconut bars. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Looks very good. Little key lime pie. 
and go on with a little slice of key lime pie. We're gonna try that. Whoops, uh, down below, a little piece of carrot cake. Definitely want to try the carrot cake. And as always, guys, remember that they do have the plastic gloves to put on your hands when you're using the tongs. They do have chocolate brownie. I'm gonna try a piece of the brownie. And definitely want to try, I'm gonna get two cookies. Ooh, they're soft. Looks like they're kind of gooey. They're very gooey. Oh my god, I almost just dropped that. I almost just dropped the chocolate chip cookie. Now this is the Baker Special. We saw this earlier when we first came in. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but we're gonna find out. So we'll try, let's try two. Let's try the Baker Special twice. Oh man, I'm not a huge fan of, I'm not concerned. Corn muffin, I'm not a big fan of. So I think, um, and I will show you again over here, they do have ice creams ready to go. I'm not in the mood for ice cream today, but they do have ice cream. We see birthday cake, chocolate, vanilla. Okay. Alrighty, so here's a little view of what I just picked up for dessert. So you can see the chocolate chip cheesecake. This was the chef's special. Look at these cookies and they're so gooey. Oh my God, they're just bending. Look at that. I got to I'm gonna eat more cookies. I got two of them. That's the key lime pie here. That's the, um, what was this one again? I forgot, oh, carrot cake. I'm sorry, carrot cake, chocolate brownie. And that's like the little special deal there. So, okay, let's just try some desserts. Let's see how they are. But that cookie looks really, really good. Alrighty, let's go. First up, chocolate brownie. I'm using my little seafood fork, but that's clean. <laughs> I had the extra seafood fork, chocolate brownie. Very good, nice gooey brownie. I think the thing I'm really, really interested to try, one of them is this cheesecake with the chocolate chips. Yum, yum, yum. That's the cheesecake. It looks good. Good cheesecake. Very good. Nice, creamy, chocolatey cheesecake. Now, this is the chef's special. This is like a little apple turnover. The apple turnover, the chef's special with powdered sugar. Yeah, it's like a, looks like a McDonald's apple turnover. McDonald's don't have apple turnovers. McDonald's. They still have apple turnovers? Mm -hmm. It's good. It tastes just like a McDonald's apple turnover. Key lime pie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice key lime pie. And carrot cake. Mm. Carrot cake is good. It's not very sweet carrot cake. And I think a lot of you guys probably prefer that. This is that like granola bar with cranberries on it, with like dry camp cranberry and fruit. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's probably very good. It's got chocolate chips in it too. Nice thick crust, little coconut. That's a good one. And then I just kind of broke off a piece of this chocolate chip gooey cookie. So, this lobster piece, I'll say it right now, has much better desserts than the other two locations. The other two locations of desserts are not, not much. I, I rarely eat a dessert at the other lobster piece. Susanna might get like a little something just to have with coffee, but this one, much, much, much better. And I think it just has to do also with, it's not very busy in here, so the crowds aren't tearing up the, the dessert platters, you know? <laughs> they keep them looking nice a little bit too, so. It's visually, it visually looks much, much, much more appealing. And this one does have ice cream. Um, the other ones, unless they've added ice cream over the last couple of weeks, no ice cream. They used to have ice cream. You would actually have to serve your own ice cream, which I'm not a fan of. I don't know, like a Department of Health type of thing. Like I know in Virginia, you would never go into a restaurant and serve your own ice cream. You know, use your scoop, scoop your own ice cream. I've only seen that in certain places. And Florida is one of them. So. I'm actually curious. Comment down below if in your home states do your restaurants let you self-serve ice cream. It's a little bit weird. I know like self-serve soft serve ice cream. I'm talking about actually like digging into the freezer with a scooper, scooping out the ice cream out of the, the gallon and putting it on a cone or a cup. I, I'm not a fan of that because I don't know if someone wash their hands before they put their hand in the scooper. So either way, pre-pandemic, lobster feast did used to have those little locations. I much, 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 much prefer the ice cream in those nice little cups that are sealed. You just take your ice cream out, pop the top, eat. Good, and that actually would go really good, I think, with a lot of the little, uh, these little desserts. I like little dessert samples, which is perfect. Okay, so, 
I think then, I'll, I guess we'll just wrap the video then. Yeah, that's it. I showed you guys what they've got here. Buffet, fantastic. Atmosphere, ambiance, fantastic. I am so happy that my brother and my mother just meant to come over here and invite me out to try it too. It's, it was really, really good. This one blew me away with, um, you can relax in here. There's no stress. The other ones can almost be a little bit stressful because they're so busy, so chaotic. Like they've got to wait in line to get food. This one's just so laid back. And I think a lot of it has to do with the location. We're just a little bit further out from some of, even though we're in a tourist area on 192, we're not near a lot of resorts or hotels. So we're right outside of Disney's main gate, but there's not, it's not like I drive where people can just walk to the lobster. You have a lot of foot traffic around the, the main lobster feast on I Drive. I guess this is, to me now, the main one because it's so big. I mean, they took over a whole golden corral and turned it into a Boston lobster feast, which is great. So, seafood was top notch. Y'all have anything you didn't like? My brother, my mother, they seem to enjoy everything. They say they have nothing they did not like. So, all in all, this was a win-win. Highly, 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 again, recommend Boston Lobster Feast. Whether you're a local living down here in Orlando and you just want to be gluttonous and eat a lot of seafood, or you are on your family vacation and you want seafood, while you're here down here at Disney or Universal, go to Boston Lobster Feast. You're not going to find anything like this on Walt Disney property. Am I right? Yeah. Nothing, right? Like Disney lacks seafood, in my opinion. You have paddlefish. Is um is um flying fish open on the boardwalk? I think they are. They're still closed. They're getting ready to reopen. Getting ready to reopen. Either way, that's a totally different type of seafood restaurant anyway. It's nothing like this. If you just want to get down and dirty with some crab legs and lobsters, some clams, lobster piece is the way to go. And also, one last thing I'll say, it is very laid back, casual atmosphere, wear what you want to wear. If you're in theme park attire, that's fine. You don't have to dress to come here by any means. So, wear something you don't mind getting a little lobster splashed on. Yeah. But anyway, I probably rambled on and on enough. So that's the end to the video, guys. Come to Boston Lobster Feast. You're gonna enjoy it, it's fantastic. So as always, if you're new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe, click the little bell notification icon. That way you're alerted every time we upload new videos, new dining reviews. You don't wanna miss out on any of those. We've done quite a few dining reviews all around the Disney or Orlando area. So make sure to check those out as well. If you're trying to plan your vacation, you wanna know where you wanna go eat. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap on the video. Comment down below, have you been to Lobster Feast before? Are you planning to go? Um, anyway, so and then, like I said, I'll put in the description the address for this new location that I 100% highly recommend. You go to this one, drive out of the way or take an Uber out of the way, come to this one, even if you're closer to the one celebration area or closer to the one by the convention center. Come to this one, absolutely 100% worth it. All right, guys, take care from the brand new gorgeous Boston Lobster Feast. Have a good one, bye.